Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn how to make a automatic three phase power factor correction system in MATLAB Simulink. Here we will improve the power factor of three phase system in which we are using three phase supply and uh, here is the three phase transformer and this is the three phase voltage and current measurement from this measurement uh, we have uh, we are getting active power and reactive power and uh, then we are calculating power factor from the this combination that in the active power squaring the active power and then squaring of reactive power then adding both of and then we are taking a square root and then we will divide it the active power divided by apparent power then we will have power factor so this is uh, this is a tag used uh, power factor tag so now we have a uh, power factor will be shown in this display this is the power factor and uh, this display will show reactive power and active power and this is we have load this is we have load and uh, this load is uh, star connected load we will check every components uh, internal parameters so we are using here three capacitor banks and uh, this is the three circuit breakers and this lcd will show the status of uh, circuit breaker one for circuit breaker is closed and zero for circuit breaker is open so now we will check every one components internal uh, parameters values we'll double click on this three phase supply and here is i am using that uh, phase to phase voltage is 11 kv and frequency i am using 50 hertz and uh, the three phase short circuit level at base voltage is 30 mva 30 mva and uh, base voltage is rms phase to phase is 11 KV. The XR ratio is 7. So and the load flow is swing type. Then click OK. Now you will see that this three phase transformer. Double click on it. And these are the values. One minute. These parameters also you can see. Now this is the three phase uh, current and voltage measurement. And current measurement is yes. Now you will see the load. Here I am using load of active power 5, 5 kilowatt active power and 7 kilowatt reactive power. And this is the load flow. This is constant PQ. And this block is power rephase instantaneous. Here we have uh, voltage and current. So here this block will, will calculate active power and reactive power. Then we are using a mixer. It will it will distribute the values. Here we have two values, two inputs. It means one is from active power and the next other one is from reactive power. This is reactive power and this is active power. And this combination will calculate the power factor. And here. Uh, the power uh, active and reactive power will be shown in, in this display and the power factor will be shown in this display and this block keep in mind here we are using automatic three phase power factor correction it is automatic it means uh, it will automatic automatically adjust the or correct the power factor when uh, when you click on this block double click on it it will uh, leads to uh, leads you to the programming side here we are using the logics here we uh, make a program in this program we uh, we make a function and uh, here in function we have three outputs cb cb stands for circuit breaker circuit breaker one circuit breaker two circuit breaker three and this arduino uno it means that uh, uh, we are using Arduino UNO in to control the power factor value and 
to operate the circuit breaker automatically. So that's why I named this function Arduino UNO. And here we have input as a power factor value. So here the first condition is showing that when the power factor value is less than 0 0.6, then it will on circuit breaker 1 and the remaining two circuit breakers will be closed. It means only one, uh, one capacitor bank will be in function. Uh, capacitor bank 1 will be in operation. And the next, uh, next condition, the power factor, if power factor is decreased from 0 0.75, then circuit breaker 2 will be on. It means the capacitor bank 2 will be in operation. The third one means that when power factor is less than 0 0.85, then it will on circuit breaker 3 and the other circuit breaker will be closed. So, in, and the last else condition when the power factor is uh, less than a, a 0 0.85 then the same condition will be operated in the else condition so hence the power factor will be automatically improved using capacitor bank and this capacitor bank will be uh, connected through circuit breaker and circuit breaker is controlled through a microcontroller or microprocessor or any other microcontroller so this program is mainly will be uploaded in the used in the microcontroller so now we will go to the simulation here and now we will see the capacitor values here this capacitor bank values is 1.5 e power 3 bar it means it is 1500 bar reactive power capacitor reactive power so when we double click on this it will show the values here we are using capacitor bank as a y connected it means star connected ground and uh, the voltage is 400 and frequency is 50 and the capacitive reactive power value is 1.5 e power 3 e power 3 means it is 10 power 3 it means it is 1500 and this capacitor bank value is 2 e power 3 it means 2000 and this is 3000 value so now we are, will run this simulation and here I am uh, writing the simulation time is 0 0.2 second click on it here you are seeing that it will increase the power factor it is 0 0.9791 now we will uh, we will analyze that how the power factor is improved in this simulation so first we will uh, comment out these uh, three capacitor banks It is comment out. So it uh, comment out means the function of these blocks will be eliminated or not will be function these blocks in the simulation. So now we will run this simulation. It is showing that the power factor is 0 0.582. It is very low power factor. So now we have to improve this power factor using the pester bank. Now we will decommit this uh, uh, only one capacitor bank and see the values of uh, uh, power factor and how much it is improved now. If we run the simulation, you can see here that it is now 0 0.66. It means it is little bit improved, but uh, but now we are not satisfied from this value because it is. Uh, also low value 0 0.66 now we have to improve it up to 0 0.9 or more than 0 0.9 so that's why now we will decommit the next one the capacitor bank and now we will run it it is now 0 0.7065 it means it is it will make more improved power improved 
So now we will decrement the third one capacitor bank. Now we will run it. Now you can see here that the power factor is rude. It is now 0 0.9791. It is it is uh, near to 1. And here this LCD show this uh, display is showing the status of circuit breaker 3. It means that the circuit breaker third is now closed with the uh, with the three phase system. Here me it one one means and the remaining uh, two circuit breakers are closed. Are uh, it means it is these two are open. It is not connected with the uh, power in, in with the power system. So. We are improving the uh, power factor only using 3000 reactive power. It is now 0 0.97. And uh, if uh, you have any uh, trouble using these components or uh, importing these components in the this simulation, then let me ask in the comment section. I will be answer your question. I will upload this file in, on my GitHub. You can download it from there and uh, I will give link in the description. Thank you.